Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week, we're back with part two of our exploration of the hottest open source projects making waves on GitHub. Get ready to discover some incredible tools and frameworks that are pushing the boundaries of technology, all thanks to the power of open source collaboration. So whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting your coding journey, there's something here for everyone. Let's dive in and uncover the amazing innovations that the open source community has to offer. Project number one, MediaPipe, on-device machine learning for everyone. Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Let's, we're looking at MediaPipe, an incredible open source project from Google AI that's changing the game when it comes to applying machine learning to live and streaming media. MediaPipe gives you the tools to create amazing applications, whether it's recognizing faces, tracking objects in real time, or even understanding sign language. What makes MediaPipe truly unique is its cross-platform compatibility. Imagine building an app that works flawlessly on your phone, your computer, and even your smart home devices. That's the power of MediaPipe. It provides ready-to-use solutions for various tasks and even lets you customize these solutions or create your own from scratch. And here's the best part. MediaPipe prioritizes on-device processing, meaning your apps run smoothly without relying heavily on the cloud. This means faster responses and more privacy for your users. To help you on your journey, MediaPipe offers a whole suite of tools. There's MediaPipe tasks for easy deployment, pre-trained MediaPipe models to get you started quickly, MediaPipe model maker to customize models with your own data, and MediaPipe studio to visualize and test your creations. MediaPipe is backed by a vibrant community of developers who are constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So if you're looking to add some AI magic to your next project, MediaPipe is the perfect place to start. Be sure to check out the links in the description for more information and to explore the amazing world of MediaPipe. Project number two, why finance? Effortlessly access financial data with Python. Hey friends, if you're a Python enthusiast interested in finance, you need to check out why finance. This incredible open source project makes grabbing data from Yahoo Finance a breeze. While Yahoo Finance does have an API, Y Finance simplifies things and makes it super user-friendly for Python developers. It's like having a direct line to the stock market, all from the comfort of your Python code. Y Finance utilizes threading, which means it can download information quickly and efficiently, especially when you're looking at multiple stocks. This makes it a great choice for projects that need up-to-the-minute market data. One of the coolest features is the ticker module. This module gives you a streamlined way to access all sorts of data about a particular stock or financial instrument. Want to see historical prices, dividends, stock splits, financial statements, or even analyst recommendations? The ticker module has you covered. Why Finance can handle multiple tickers at once, which is super helpful if you're tracking a whole portfolio of assets. And it's not just limited to stocks. Why Finance also supports ETFs and mutual funds. Plus, it has built-in tools for analyzing market sectors and industries. You can even use it to screen the market for specific investment opportunities using the screener module. So if you're ready to unlock the power of financial data with Python, why Finance is your go-to solution. It's packed with features, easy to use, and completely free. Check out the links in the description for more information and start building your next finance-powered Python project today. Project number three, Minecraft. When AI takes over Minecraft, get ready to see Minecraft like never before. Today, we're talking about Minecraft, a project that lets you control a Minecraft character using the power of artificial intelligence. Imagine an AI that can mine, build, and even chat with you in the game. That's Minecraft. This project combines Mindflayer, a library that lets you interact with Minecraft with advanced language models, creating a truly unique gameplay experience. What makes Minecraft so cool? Well, first of all, you have a ton of flexibility. You can choose from a variety of AI models like OpenAI, Gemini, or even locally installed ones like Olama. This means you can experiment and find the AI that best suits your playstyle. Plus, you can customize your AI's behavior by tweaking its profile settings. Want a bot that's a master builder? Or maybe one that's more focused on exploration? Minecraft lets you do that. And here's the kicker. You can control multiple bots at the same time. Think of the possibilities. Team up with your AI buddies for epic builds, or maybe even have them compete against each other. But a word of caution. Letting an AI control your Minecraft character comes with some risks. The developers have wisely disabled code writing by default because it could potentially be used for harmful purposes. So if you decide to enable it, make sure you're playing on a local or private server where you can trust the environment. Overall, 
Minecraft is a groundbreaking project that opens up a whole new world of possibilities for Minecraft lovers and AI enthusiasts alike. Be sure to check out the links in the description to learn more and start your own AI-powered Minecraft adventure. Project number four, .NET MAUI. Build native apps for any device. Hey tech enthusiasts, are you tired of writing separate code for each platform you want to target? Say hello to .NET MAUI. This awesome framework, which stands for .NET Multi-Platform App UI, lets you build native apps for mobile, tablet, and desktop using a single code base. That's right, you can write your code once in C-Sharp and XAML and deploy it to Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows. .NET MAUI is the evolution of Xamarin Forms, taking cross-platform development to the next level. It gives you native performance, meaning your apps will run smoothly and take advantage of each device's unique capabilities. Plus, it integrates seamlessly with Visual Studio, providing you with powerful tools and emulators to boost your productivity. .NET MAUI is all about making your life easier as a developer. It offers a unified SDK, base class libraries, and tool chain, so you have a consistent experience across all platforms. And if you ever need help, there's a vibrant community of developers and comprehensive documentation to guide you. So, if you're looking to build amazing native apps that reach a wide audience, .NET MAUI is the way to go. Check out the links in the description to get started and unleash your cross-platform development superpowers. Project number five, Xerox. Unlock the power of your PDFs with AI. Have you ever needed to extract information from a PDF for use in AI tools? Meet Xerox, a project that makes PDF OCR optical character recognition a breeze. Xerox takes your PDFs and converts them into a format perfect for AI processing using the power of vision models like GPT-4. This is a big deal because PDFs can be difficult for traditional OCR to handle accurately. They often have tables, charts, and unusual layouts. Xerox solves this by understanding the visual structure of documents, going beyond just the text. It then converts the extracted information into Markdown, which is readable for both humans and machines. This means you can use the data for further analysis or feed it into other AI applications. Xerox is available as both a Node and Python package. The Python SDK supports many different vision models from various providers, including OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, Anthropic, and AWS Bedrock. You can even customize the conversion process with options for cleaning up temporary files, managing concurrency, maintaining format, and selecting specific pages to convert. Xerox is an open source project, so you can explore how it works and even contribute to its development. To try it out before installing, there's a hosted demo version available at hgetomni.ai-ocr-demo. So ditch those clunky OCR tools and unlock the power of your PDFs with Xerox. Project number six, Deskflow control multiple computers with one keyboard and mouse. Hey everyone, do you use multiple computers at your desk? Tired of switching between keyboards and mice? Well, check out Deskflow. It lets you seamlessly control multiple computers with just one keyboard and mouse. Deskflow is a free and open source app, like a software KVM, but without the video switching. It works on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, so you can mix and match your operating systems. Here's how it works. You install Deskflow on all your computers, and they form a network. You can then move your mouse cursor from one screen to another, just like they were one big desktop. Your keyboard input follows the mouse, so you're always typing on the right computer. Deskflow even supports clipboard sharing, so you can copy and paste text and files between your computers. What's really cool about Deskflow is that it's community-driven. It's the upstream project for Synergy, a commercial fork. Synergy contributes code and financial support back to Deskflow, but Deskflow prioritizes community interests and makes decisions based on majority rule. Plus, Deskflow is all about privacy and is compatible with similar projects like Input Leap and Barrier. So if you're looking for a seamless way to control multiple computers, give Deskflow a try. Project number seven, Onlook, designed directly in your live React app. Are you tired of the back and forth between design and development? Do you wish you could see your code changes reflected visually right in your live React app? Well, check out Onlook, an open source visual editor that brings the power of Figma right into your React projects. Onlook is a browser powered tool that lets you design and make live edits to your app's interface directly in the browser DOM. This means you can visually manipulate elements, adjust styles, and see your changes reflected in the code in real time. Onlook seamlessly integrates with React and Tailwind CSS so you can work directly with your existing components and styles. It's like having a design tool and a code editor working in perfect harmony. Onlook is local first, which means you have complete control over your code base. There's no need to rely on external servers or cloud services. And because it's open source, 
you can explore its inner workings and contribute to its development. Onlook also comes with comprehensive documentation, a demo project, and a handy CLI tool to help you get started quickly. They've even got a clear roadmap outlining exciting future features. So if you're a React developer looking for a more visual and efficient way to build your apps, give Onlook a try. Check out the links in the description to learn more and start designing directly in your code. Project number eight, OpenVMM, a secure and modular virtual machine monitor. Are you interested in the world of virtualization and creating isolated environments for your applications? Then you should check out OpenVMM, an open source virtual machine monitor developed by Microsoft. OpenVMM is a modular and cross-platform VMM, meaning it's designed to be flexible and work on different operating systems. What's really cool about OpenVMM is that it's written in Rust, a programming language known for its focus on security and reliability. This makes OpenVMM a great choice for running virtual machines machines in a safe and controlled environment. Although OpenVMM can function as a traditional VMM, it's currently focused on its role within the OpenHCL Para Virtualizer. This means OpenVMM is not just about running virtual machines in the traditional sense. It's also about creating secure and isolated environments for specific tasks, pushing the boundaries of what's possible with virtualization technology. You can find OpenVMM source code on GitHub, where you can explore the project, contribute to its development, and even propose changes. The OpenVMM project is a great example of how open source collaboration can drive innovation in the field of virtualization. So if you're looking for a secure, flexible, and community-driven VMM, give OpenVMM a try. Project number nine, Together AI Dart Package, effortlessly integrate AI into your Dart apps. Hey friends, are you a Dart developer looking to add some powerful AI features to your projects? Well, say hello to the Together AI Dart Package. This fantastic SDK lets you easily tap into the amazing capabilities of the Together AI API. Think of it as a bridge connecting your Dart code to a world of AI magic. With this package, you can seamlessly generate text, create stunning images, and even interact with AI models specialized for chat and vision tasks. It's like having a supercharged AI toolbox right at your fingertips. The package is super user-friendly, offering a straightforward API that simplifies interacting with different AI models. It even takes care of error handling, giving you clear messages to help squash any bugs. Plus, the Together AI Dart package is big on security, encouraging best practices to keep your API keys safe and sound. And the best part? It's open source and community driven, meaning you can join a vibrant group of developers who are constantly improving and expanding its capabilities. So if you're ready to unleash the power of AI in your Dart projects, check out the Together AI Dart package. Links in the description below. Project number 10, C Translate 2, Turbocharge Your Transformer Models. Hey tech enthusiasts, have you ever worked with transformer models and wish they were faster and more efficient? Well, get ready to meet C Translate 2, a C++ and Python library that's here to supercharge your transformer model inference. C Translate 2 employs a custom runtime that's packed with optimizations like weights quantization, layer fusion, and batch reordering. These tricks significantly accelerate processing and shrink the memory footprint of your models, whether you're running them on CPUs or GPUs. But wait, there's more. C Translate 2 is a champion of flexibility. It supports a variety of model types, from encoder-decoder models like Transformer, BART, and T5, to decoder-only models like GPT-2 and Llama, and even encoder-only models like BERT. It's also a multilingual marvel compatible with models trained in frameworks like OpenNMT, FairSeq, Marion, and Hugging Face Transformers. So if you're ready to unleash the full potential of your transformer models, C Translate 2 is your go-to solution. And that's a wrap for this week's roundup of top trending open source GitHub projects. I hope you found these projects as inspiring as I did. It's amazing to see the creativity and innovation that the open source community brings to the world. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos showcasing the latest and greatest in open source technology. Until next time, happy coding.